Hello, Cancer. This is your love tea with me. So this is Joyce, the Shadow by You Tarot, with a little Anya bringing you your love tea for November 2020. Who's coming straight to you? So guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And thank you for helping me grow this evergreen, ever-growing Bayou Tribe here on YouTube. YouTube's only Bayou Tribe, guys. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Wah! Share my videos. Comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube with Super Chat where I answer your love tea questions live. All right, guys, if you would like a private reading with me, as these are general readings here on YouTube, please email me at shadowbyutarot at gmail.com, and we will book a private reading. I have memberships open, two tiers to choose from. You guys, check that out. I do have a members-only live stream that I am doing this Saturday. 6 p.m. Central Time Zone. That's a love tea Q&A from you guys who are members. And it is tier 2, the $9.99 a month tier. That is going to be open for their own super chat, but they already paid the $9.99. So, don't matter how many questions you ask, if you're a part of that tier group, when I do live stream Q&A for that membership tier group, we I answer all your questions. Love questions. <laughs> it's a love tea. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, Spirit, give me the messages, please. For Cancer in love. Who's coming straight towards them in love? What can they expect in their love lives? The zodiac sign of Cancer. The strongest, most current energies for my Cancerians in love. Thank you, Spirit. All right, guys, and this is the Steampunk Tarot. We have the Queen of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. You're looking good, looking beautiful. This could be the person coming toward you. Could be a Sag, doesn't have to be. These are energy readings. This person is handsome or beautiful. Got it going on, very successful, a go-getter. Someone who is straight to the point. A little outspoken, someone with a good sense of humor, down to earth. And we have the Emperor, Aries Energy. So someone here could be a business owner, some type of entrepreneur. Somebody here could be running a business, being very successful. Four of Wands and Justice. So it looks to me like somebody's ready to settle down. It looks to me somebody's ready to start a long term relationship, get married. Libra Energy and Justice. We have the Four of Cups. Not sure if their person will accept their proposal. We have communication. Clarity. A lot of honesty coming in here in the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. So this is somebody contemplating and planning returning to an ex. Wanting to propose marriage to this person. Wanting a commitment with this person. This was a very bad breakup. Somebody feels backstabbed, betrayed by the other. But this person is thinking and thinking and thinking. They're not happy without their person. They're not happy without you. They want you back. 
They want to settle down. This is Pisces and the moon. Mm-hmm. They're in their emotions, keeping quiet, holding back right now. But they definitely are planning to come back. Queen of Pentacles, they see you as their Queen of Pentacles. This person's going to propose marriage, I feel. The Tower and Scorpio energy, major transformation in this relationship. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Yep, they see you and only you as their ideal partner. They will be communication. They'll be communicating about how they feel. The Four of Pentacles, they were holding back, but they're ready to invest. They regret decisions they made in the past here, Cancer, in the Five of Cups. Ready to offer that love, but Samadhi is holding back. Five of Swords could be arguments that led to the breakup here. Regarding outside influences, regarding an ex perhaps, because the Five of Swords is about needing to cut off someone or something that is no good for the relationship. And someone here wants to leave all this misery behind, the dark clouds, leaving that dark cloud behind. Leaving these turbulent, hurt emotions behind. Starting a, a, a solid foundation, if I could get the words out. Seven of Pentacles, taking an assessment. Ready to start the work towards commitment. Seven of Cups, they know what their choice is. The only choice for them. They're looking around, going, there is no one else that I'd rather be with. And this person's all in their head about it. Knowing they need to come to you correct. Broken heart here. Betrayal in the Three of Swords. Due to the King of Cups energy. Somebody was acting like a little bit of a suave player. Page of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been watching. They've been watching for the time to approach here. Trying to figure out also how to approach, you know, and they got to come in correct. If they want success, say Ace of Pentacles, they want to build a life with you, Ace of Wands. They're very sexually attracted to you. They may have cheated on you with a third party. But they are ready for commitment. Ready to leave all that mess behind. They want to heal this situation with you, Cancer. This is your card in the chariot. You want to move forward. You don't want any of this misery. You've shed enough tears. This person is coming towards you with commitment. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Uh, excuse me. King of pentacles. Yeah, they want to straighten it all out. They want to show you that they're faithful, loyal, committed, that they made a mistake. They're not going to repeat it. They want to prove this to you. We have the Queen of Swords. They will speak their truth to you. And they will prove themselves by putting the work into the relationship. Yep. Page of Cups. This person may be at a long distance, have to cross the ocean, get in a plane, come back begging from the page to the night yeah this person loves you very very much they feel you are their divine counterpart in the two of cups the hermit you are their star they're following their star here the sun in leo energy this is also sagittarius yeah they want a new beginning with you look at this underneath the deck we have the three of pentacles that's partnerships Signing of legal papers, contracts being signed. And what did I say? You are their star. Here we have Aquarius energy. Could be a twin flame relationship. Finally coming into union. This person's coming back to you. They choose you. No one else can compare. They're coming back to you. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. 
They've been all up in their head about it. They're very nervous about approaching you, but they do want reciprocity equal give and take. They know they screwed up. They messed up. They're willing. They want to clean up everything. They want to fix this. They want to prove themselves. So let's see what we got going on here. They're ready to give you what you want. Something solid. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say, Cancer. All right, angelic principalities, give me messages, please. The guide messages for Cancer. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys need to have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart talks. Y'all need to spend some time together, really getting to know each other, really asking the questions, the right questions. What do you want with your future? What do you want for yourself? You know, are we on the same page? Wedding, apparently so, this marriage, this situation involves marriage. And we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So they're saying flirt with this person and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership because it will lead to marriage. So guys, that is the advice. That was your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if this resonates or not. Thank you again and I'll see you soon.